What's up, everyone? Another void here with more Factorio for you this morning. Sorry about that. Episode 57 getting got a little messed up. It looks like I recorded nothing but black, so that's always awesome. Re-recording this, and uh, we're just sitting here about ready to get enough parts to make this rocket. We're at 98%. We only need two more parts, and then we can basically light this candle and be done with this season. I don't know if there's going to be a season two or not, because... I have a lot of games coming up that I want to play. I just posted a uh, I just posted a schedule out on Twitter uh, for the few months for basically I would say summer and fall of 2016. Definitely going to be playing uh, Hearts of Iron 4. That comes out in about a week, and that's another reason season two of Factorio will not just be starting right away and is not main might not happen. Um, so yeah, Hearts of Iron 4, I'm going to be going really hard and heavy on that. I will be doing one episode a day, uh, like I've done with all my other series, pretty much. And basically, if I only have one series running, I'm doing two videos a day of that series. If I have two games, it's one of each, because I am going to be doing two videos a day. That's how it works. Sweet, so we're ready to rock. Now, oh, that's awesome. I love this. This is an awesome graphic. So the rocket's ready. Once we put the satellite into orbit, it basically lets everybody know where we are. I think that's how it works. So let's build a satellite. I've already got everything on me that I need. Uh, 500 fuel. I've got 100 accumulators, 100 panels, 5 radars, 100 low density structures. Ready to rock. 100 blue chip sets. Only takes 3 seconds to craft. Not a big problem. Boom, we have a satellite. Put it in the rocket. Uh... Oh, right here. Okay. And we're going to launch it. But I don't want to launch just yet, okay? Let's go look around the base a little bit. Um, what we've built. We'll just leave that in there. It should stay in there. Yeah, it's in there. Let's go look at what we've built here. Pretty awesome stuff. Um, our bus is just giant. We're still pulling out coal from there. Look at all the stuff we've built. And I think that six assembler little pop down that we did was really awesome. I think... That really made building this factory really, really simple. So let's get rid of... Well, I guess we do want 100 of those. We don't want those, I guess. All right. So anyway, just that design made it really easy. Having all that space between our buses, again, made it super simple. Um, I think having these chipsets on buses was fine. Uh, it does take a lot of chipsets to do that, but... Um, you need a high capacity for chips anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I think this worked out really well for us, having this kind of branching manufacturing and these rooms and, uh, you know, popping down this basically... Um, what you want to do is you want to have something that's scalable. That's something we can talk about in the IT world. This is scalable. I can just copy this and plop it down to my till, till the end of time, right? It's scalable. That's, that's, what, that's what it's really going for there. Um, steel production, pretty good. That's about what I thought we would need. That's maxed out right there. Um, our, I think our buses are really well balanced. This is a little off right here. That's because we're only using one side, I think. Uh, we're not using this other side. Um, probably that's what's going on. Chipset production was way higher than I thought it would need to be. Um, but it is what it is. That's a lot of, seems like a lot of chipset need for me but everything needs chipsets and the forge was about what I thought we need to I knew we'd need more iron than copper and so I thought it would maybe need to be slightly larger than this maybe one more on each side but we're keeping up well because what really you what you can't do is keep up on ores unless you have a lot of trains running and we don't so um, we couldn't really supply as much ore as we probably would need looks like copper is getting a little low would be time to start setting up a train station for that or maybe just mining out the rest of the copper I have in my base which I think I only have one more piece right there and then we'd have to go outside I'd probably go to like this patch that's a giant patch that one's awesome train station universal uh, or receiving station really really awesome really uh, did a great job right there it's handling everything you throw at it we haven't really thrown a lot at it but I think we did a good job with that. I'm also really proud of this. 
my ore mining station, which is universal again. I can plop this down. I have a blueprint. I can plop it anywhere. It's fairly resource heavy, I think. Um, but it also is means I don't have to build stuff by hand, which is awesome. And it pretty much balances everything coming in, which is something I really wanted. Sorry my voice is so messed up. I got bad allergies right now. And it messed up my throat a little bit. So my throat's messed up. So I also like that it's universal. I can plop this down on any kind of ore and just change what it's basically using in here, the radar or whatever. And it will tell it what to look out for. Like, um, which one is doing it? I thought it was this one. Hmm. It should be this. Okay, yeah, here we go. When no radar, when radar is equal zero. So that's pretty neat little wireless system there too that we set up. I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty awesome. Man, sorry. Really having a hard time today for some reason. It's worse than other days, which is odd. So we got a lot of stuff concreted in as well. Um, I would have loved to concrete the whole thing. I just think... Um, it takes a lot more concrete than you would think to do all this. Plus, we're pretty spread out in here. Uh, at least we got the whole main bus concreted in. We concreted a lot of our factory. And that's a lot of concrete right there. I think next time I'm going to get more concrete set up so I can do it. If I have a, uh, a season two, I'll be concreting like a mofo. I do also do like our train system that supplies our base. So we don't have to use bots. Bots are good, but they're kind of boring. Like they're too easy. So it's kind of boring to use bots all the time. Um, they're convenient. They're just boring. Anyway, let's light this candle. Let's get this rocket in the air. We're going to launch this sucker. Thanks for watching this season. Um, it's been a, it's been a blast. Ha. Uh, 57 episodes. That's pretty good. Also, hopefully you're watching Endless Legend. We're about 10 episodes into that, and I expect probably 20 to 30 more episodes. Also, please watch Heart of Iron 4. That's going to be awesome series. I can't wait to try that. I haven't really, I don't think I've ever played a Paradox interactive um, uh, 4X game, which is very unfortunate. Miss Stel I miss Stellaris. It's a little too late. I know it's only been about a month, but not even a month. And it's it's too late to start it because I'm going to have two series running at the time. I'm not going to be able to start, start Stellaris. I might still do it. Depends. I've been watching it and the uh, hype on Stellaris is going down. So there's really no point to start a, a game that the hype is going down. Usually you want to get all your videos out for a game while the hype's up. Because after that, nobody's going to watch it. So anyway, let's launch this thing. Put in the satellite. Everything's ready. Three, two, one. Ignition. Oh, wow, that was perfect. Timed perfectly. Hopefully I get that right in the sound. Probably not. Boom. There it goes. We win the game. Congratulations, everyone. We win. 4,000 small biters. 3,000 small spitters. 1700 big spitters 1300 medium spitters that's odd okay 1300 medium biters not a thousand big biters 116 spawners but it's actually like 180 spawners tree tree two took out 50 of those yes medium worms okay that's cool i really i like to see them upgrade next i think i i would like to see them upgrade the aliens they're kind of boring um, a lot of people don't like the aliens. They turn them off. I think it's because they're boring. Um, they're, once you can beat them, it's easy to beat them. They're, there's nothing really to them. I'd like to see them morph into something a little bit different where maybe they start really having an, a, an evolution. Not just bigger, but like start using guns or making their own bases and stuff. That'd be kind of neat. Probably a lot more development than it's worth because this is a small indie company. But still cool. I love this game. It's really awesome. And again, thank you for watching. Hope to see you on other series. Like, favorite, comment. Let me know what you thought about this series. And if you'd like to see a season two. And as always, everyone, stay frosty.